Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to the IRE AT Training Center. If I can get the slide to stop here. I want to thank you for joining us today. I am Jeff Gardner. I'm the CEO of IRE AT. I'm here today with my wife, Kayleen, our first presentation together. Um, perhaps due to the pandemic, this was necessary for, <laughs> we can't be far enough apart, but uh, excited to have my first presentation with my wife here. Uh, hopefully one of many. We're going to be looking today at the Clover mag uh, video magnifiers. And let's see again if I can get my slides to work. There we go. So we're doing this today. We uh, All of our webinars, we do provide credit. So uh, we provide a certificate of completion. Part of that then is to structure things the way that they should be structured so you can get credit. So we always have learning objectives for all of our webinars. And today we're gonna to be looking at these Clover video magnifiers and seeing how they can provide us more features at a lower cost. We're gonna see how they could perform for us in a school environment or uh, at work or really wherever else you wanna be. And uh, lastly, we're going to discover the new Clover Book Pro. It's a brand new magnifier from SiteCare. It's a 12 and a half inch OCR distance view, fold down, really slick new thing. You can get a, an extra screen with it. Really cool new device. Uh, so we're gonna end up with that. So let me tell you a little bit about the Clover uh, video magnifiers. These may be things that are familiar to you. You may have seen the Clover 4, the Clover 5, and the 3 that have been around for a while. Uh, the Clover 7 and the Clover 10 have been around now for like three, four years. Um, and uh, now they're coming out with new ones, have a brand new Clover 6 that we'll show you today, as well as the Clover Book Pro. But the biggest thing is that this is a company that hasn't really been represented in the U.S. the way that it is now. It is Irie is now the master distributor for Clover. We have inventory here. We have uh, people that know how to use the devices and can support you here. We have a repair center. So it's now fully a U.S. brand, um, and we're really excited at IRE to be bringing the uh, Clover magnifiers to you. So let's start out with the Clover 3. Um, I'm going to break out, or I'm going I'm to shoot the camera out to my lovely wife, and uh, we will see her experiment with these things. And we're going to get a good learning experience today. You're going to see how easy these are to use because she's never used any of them before. Uh, we didn't even have a chance to practice. I was scrambling getting everything set up. So um, we're going to uh, get a, a fresh or some fresh eyes on the, on the clovers today. So um, and just as housekeeping here, um, we are going to be looking at the Q&A and we're going to be looking at the uh, chat. I apologize. I've got Cody also kind of looking in on me. Uh, we're going to try to answer all those things live if we can. Um, but uh, forgive me if there's a little delay on those, but we will be paying attention to those and we'll have a time at the end that we can do questions. So at this point, um, let's go out and look at the Clover 3. I will see if I can get the, oh, my mouse is disappearing. Okay. And this should be, okay, we're out at the Clover 3. So we're looking at the desk. Um, I apologize, all you're gonna be able to see of my lovely wife, Kayleen, is her hands um, <laughs> there. Um, but she's gonna pull out the Clover 3, comes in a nice little case there, uh, protective case. I really like this one. It's, it's I mean, obviously a, a three and a half inches is just gonna be for reading menus and um, just for taking with you for light jobs. Uh, but I love that this one is basically the size of the screen. So it really you know, takes advantage of the space that it, that it gives you. It also is one of these ones that reads just flat down, so it's not hard to figure out how to use it. It's a real simple device. I'm gonna have Kayleen press the white button on the right side of it. Just hold that down for a couple of seconds and that guy will start up. You see there's a green light comes on and then you set that down straight on the reading material. And all you do is just push it along and read your menu, read your, in this case, agenda. And um, you know, that's about all there is to it. There's a red button on the bottom of it. If you wanted to freeze and just press that once and that'll freeze the image. You, know, you can lift it up and you can see that. And notice that's a really nice clear image um, on the Clover 3. I'll press that again, we'll get back to live view. Now on the top of the device, we have a really kind of cool thing. If, that is, if she slides that to the right or the left, then it will change the video, the, um, the zoom level. 
Uh, that'll zoom in and zoom out. So I kind of jammed that one. It's yeah. a little harder than it should be. Um, it was it sustained a drop, admittedly. I believe it was at ATIA. Um, but yeah, you can just slide that back and forth and change the magnification. And now press down on it. Let's see what it does. See, so, you know, if you press down on it, it's going to change the contrast. So the guy only has three buttons, and it's just real simple, real small, easy to take with you. I uh, won't spend too much time on the Clover 3, but um, I wanted to show you all the different Clovers today, and that's one that uh, is the obviously the starting range of three inch. So, oh yeah, sorry, there is a little reading stand. I, I didn't show that. I already switched back to the oh, okay. presentation. Sorry, Han. Um, there is a little reading stand. If you notice in the um, right hand corner, of the bottom of the screen, if you can see that, there's an image of it propped up. It does prop up at an angle, so you can do a certain amount of writing under it. Not the one I'd recommend for any kind of extended writing, but it does have that, have that ability. And then you may have noticed I accidentally let it in a little early. Um, I'm going to show you the prices on all the slides, and that one just flew in when I accidentally hit the button. Uh, this one is only 199 bucks, so real affordable for a quality uh, video magnifier. So now let's take a look at the Clover 4. Uh, this is a 4.3 inch magnifier. Um, I mean, honestly, this is this has kind of been out for a while. It's nothing flashy, um, but just a real nice, uh, good image that you get with it. It has a user rechargeable and user replaceable battery, which I think is, you know, especially if you're talking about an economic unit, you want to have something that you can keep up that's affordable as well. And, you know, you can get off the shelf batteries for it and you can you can recharge them and replace them yourself. So I will go out and we'll take a quick look at that guy. Sorry, I'm slow on Zoom today. Okay, now we're back at the desk view and now Kayleen has the uh, 4.3, the uh, Clover 4. And that also, um, now the you see the power button there on top. It's, again, it's a white button on the top, on the left side of the top. And hold that down for a couple seconds and it comes on. Same as the other one, we're just going to set this down straight on the desk and it just reads straight over the material. So if you like the ones that just set down, set on your material, this one's real easy, gives you a nice image. Um, it's not going to do OCR or, um, or uh, touch screen or you know much of the, the little flashy things it, it doesn't have distance but if you want just a nice clear screen real easy to use uh, the clover 4 is for you the uh, there's also one we actually managed to sell all of our stock of it um, having some fun with the pandemic trying to get inventory in reliably here with the on the time it takes now um, so I don't actually have a five to show you. I did, did communicate to people, hey, hold that shipment off for a day. So I have one to show, um, but it looks pretty much identical and I'll show it to you in the next slide. Um, but uh, this one also, I will, will keep the camera on you so you can show um, the reading stand on this one. Oh, there's, yeah, yeah flip that nice. over and show. And you can see on the back there, there's a slot where you can replace the, uh, the battery. You just slide that out and you can replace the battery. And there is a, a reading stand or writing stand that props it up a bit so you can get your pen back in there and, and do a certain amount of writing. Okay, I've got a chat, it looks like. All right, so it looks like Cody's taking care of things with that, just sent out a, um, I will provide all the web links and everything to these uh, at the end, by the way. Yeah, let me go back to the presentation. Okay, so here is the Clover 4 again. Um, well, the slide of it, my mouse keeps disappearing. And, um, you know, again, this doesn't offer you all the extra features and all those things. But what it does give you is a really incredible price at 349 bucks, um, the Clover 4. I promised, I promised affordability and I think the, the Clover 4 does that. Okay, so the Clover 5, uh, again, I apologize. I don't have that one to show you. Uh, you'll notice if you can see the pictures, this looks virtually identical to the five, uh, pretty much in form and function, it is the same. Also has a user replaceable rechargeable battery. 
Um, both of these, if you can see the, the picture on the bottom right, uh, it shows a, a, a handle. Both of them have the Clover 4 and the Clover 5 have optional handles that you can get for them. So a little bit old school, but really nice image on those guys. And again, on the 5, we've got a really good price of 419 so let's look over at the Clover 6. Um, sorry, I'm kind of buzzing through some of those ones, but usually people are not as interested in the ones till we get to about 6 to 10, 12. And so I'm going to save time for some of these, especially the ones that are the new units. Um, this new Clover 6 is really cool. I, I, I apologize. The pictures I have of it are pretty terrible. So it's good I'm going to be able to show you that in person. Um, I'll be honest, when I first saw literature on it, I thought, yeah, okay, it's another thing, looks like another thing. Uh, it's really something that you get in your hands and you realize the power of this device. You know, you can't tell from looking at the picture, but it is thin. It's one of the thinnest ones out there. Um, it has a handle that pops out of it. And, you know, like a lot of them, you pop it out and well, a lot of them pop it out and then they slide and they don't hold their position well. This one really holds its position well and it gives you a good focal distance, gives you a lot of flexibility so you can really use it as like it's a magnifying glass and not keep losing the image, not have it keep blurring out and all those things. Um, it has touchscreen and tactile controls, really a cool little unit, a full HD unit. So let's go out to Kayleen and we'll take a look at that one. Boom. Okay. All right. So like all the others, it comes with a nice padded case. I'm just going to open that up and pull it out. And now look at the, turn it at an angle so we can see how thin this is. I mean, that is really thin. Um, and then to look at some other physical features on it, um, there's a, if you're holding it, yeah, like that, under the blue button kind of, like put your finger behind it, there's a little notch where you can pull that down at an angle. Yeah, there you go. So you can use this handle to make it a reading stand. And now, okay, hold it up again and turn it around. Okay, now like, you know, see, feel how this, how it's gonna, wants to swing out at an angle. I oh, know, pull it out like you did. Actually, oh, it doesn't okay. matter really what you do. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you use it as a handle. And now notice how it'll flex back and forth. See how you're returning it? Yeah. Um, so that's going to give you distance or self. Is So while you're holding it, you can using it on a desk and then, you know, see something that's close. And then if she angles it, just pull, yeah, like that, then it's going to automatically switch to a distance view. Um, and then you may notice that she's just flopping it around. It's not moving. It's like it stays in that position. So you know, I see lots of these with, with ones with handles. Most of them aren't worth a darn. Um, if you if you want well, my opinion, this one really you can actually use it like it's a magnifying glass. So on the top right, um, the side of it, the sorry, the right side near the top, uh, there's a power button. Hold that down for a couple of seconds. Or my left. So on your yeah. left side, on my right, if I'm yeah okay, <laughs> I'm directionally challenged and and. The, Kayleen, please don't tell them other ways that I'm challenged because <laughs> she can give you a list, I'm sure. Um, anyway, you can see, you now this is held away from the desk. It's not losing the image. You actually can use that as a handheld magnifying glass. And what's cool too is, so you've got your right hand on it. Uh, that's how I would hold it as a right hander. I'm kind of surprised that you're holding it that way as a lefty, um, but she is a lefty. So let's say, well, first let's do it the way I would do it. Reach out with your left hand and, and this time I actually meant, no, keep holding it in your right hand. Now reach out with your left hand and pinch and zoom on the screen. Because that's how you're going to want to use it when you've got it as a handheld magnifier. You know, if you've got it as a magnifying glass, is you want to just have one hand to hold it, one hand to pinch and zoom, and you can see everything that you want to do. So now let's pretend you're a lefty. Just switch hands, flip it over, do it upside down. No problem with that. Yeah, just like that. And I've had all kinds of people tell me, oh, I can't use the other ones because uh, they're not for lefties. Well, pff, it's got a touch screen, you know, you don't need to reach over and get the controls and those things. Real easy to just pinch and zoom and see what you want to see. And then if you want to do it in a traditional way, uh, where, it, you know, I mean, maybe not traditional way, but in kind of the, the new way of having the 45 degree reading angle, you can fold that handle back in and then kind of do it at an angle. 
you know how you popped it at an angle like there. That. Yeah. No, and now no, you've no. got your your reading stand. And notice that that really clear full HD image we've got on there. You've got all your standard controls, your freeze, your you have lines and blinds. Say so hit the blue button there. Uh, we'll get blinds. Um, and yeah <laughs> and now hit it again you'll get your uh, your vertical hit it again you'll get your blinds hit it again you'll get your vertical blinds so you've got those hit it one more time and we'll get out of there and um so now pinch and zoom and get me in real close all right so now you notice what she's doing it's not supposed to be that. No, that was no. exactly what I wanted you to do. That was perfect. So now she's just using her finger, dragging it along and panning along the screen. So you zoom in on a pill bottle, you zoom in on all these things and well, cool, I'm zoomed in. I can freeze it. I can do all kinds of stuff. But to actually be able to pan around and see it all is quite useful. And you don't have to be frozen. She's in a live image right now, just pinching and zooming, panning as she goes. And that red sound or the, the see perhaps a, a red indicator and hear a sound, that's when she gets to the end of the camera view. So whatever she zoomed in on, anything that the camera can physically see, she can pan around and get to. And when she hears that sound, she knows she does need to physically move the device uh, to get that. But that's one of the really cool thing about these clovers is everything from the six up has this live panning. Um, and a lot of them even have the touchscreen panning, which is really, really super useful. It also kind of vibrates. Yeah, there are yeah. vibration options and things. You can turn that off. I pretty much leave all that stuff on for accessibility. Mm -hmm. It annoys some people, but all the vibrations and all the sounds yeah, and everything cool. you can you can turn off. Um, so did we, we didn't look at a distance with this. No. This is one that has a fantastic distance view. So, okay, let's go in here and I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna turn the camera just a bit so you can actually okay. tell. So now you've got this, got this great distance view. I can look over here, I can read things, I can even pan around in my distance view. Um, I'm wobbly. Yeah, the camera. You're, you're all over the place. <laughs> but, angle. Yeah, sorry, it's not the best way to show the distance view, but it's a really, really nice, uh, nice distance view on this one. Turn the camera back to the desk. Okay, get back into my position here. Okay, so I don't see any questions or anything coming up at this point, so we'll just keep rolling along. All right, so we're back into our PowerPoint. And um, so this is the Clover 6. And this guy is 749. Again, brand new, all sorts of cool features, lower price than the competition. Really cool Clover 6. Now you may have seen this one before. This one's been out uh, for a few years, the Clover 7S, or actually the 7S is a newer version of the 7, but the 7 has been out for a while. You've got a seven inch uh, full HD matte screen on this one, same as the, as the six, you've got a nice matte screen on it. It's got um, a great distance view on it. It's got a seven inch screen. And um, similar to the six, we've got live panning. We don't have a touch screen on this one, but we have a little joystick on it so we can do live panning. Uh, so without further ado, let's go out and take a look at the Clover 7. All right, back to that view. Again, we have the handy dandy gray padded case. I like these cases. Yeah, it's a nice case. And this one's really pretty. I like this one. It's really pretty. And you've got um, you know, kind of the traditional seven inch design. You've got those fold out feet. Can you pop those out for me? You just, yeah, you kind of put your thumbs in there and pop them out. So it'll read at a uh, 45 degree angle. It automatically adjusts to that angle so it'll know you want to read. When you have the feet out, you pop the feet in, and then it knows you want distance view. So it's a real handy way to uh, you know just automatically have it switch for you. In terms of physical layout of the machine, it's got a cool panel that kind of this, this screen is shot up at a 45 degree angle, and then the panels, they'll still a flat panel that I can reach out and touch right in front of the screen. And I have two separate buttons 
for my color contrast. I really like that feature that most people have now where you can press one button and go to your color contrast and one button and go to your, um, your color. So you're not constantly going through 28 different colors. So go ahead, same thing on the top uh, right side, left side. Um, you know, hold that down for a couple of seconds. So you get the, okay. The light turns green. Yeah. All right, and so then you can zoom in, zoom out, just like she's doing with the plus and minus buttons. Now zoom way in on that guy. And now let's play with the joystick in the middle. That guy, if you just move it around, and now this speed that it, it zips through, that it pans through, you can adjust the speed. I have this one set pretty fast and I, I'll show you the 10 is set pretty slow to get an idea of how that works. But then everything that is within the camera's view, she can zip around with that joystick and she can see. So real handy if, you know, say you're reading a newspaper column or something and you don't wanna keep going back and forth, you really just have to go down the column, move back and forth with the joystick and then move down when you get to the end. So um, now again, like I said, that button on the far left of the front, that's gonna change the contrast and go through 48, 11 different um, color contrast options, which you can turn off by the way, um, but it really doesn't matter because you just hit the color button and your color like you just did. I don't actually have a color document under it, mm -hmm. but say I'm looking at a photograph and now I'm back to reading, hit the contrast button and I'm back to my high contrast reading. So real handy. Um, you have an autofocus button on there, freeze frame. You've got lines and blinds. You've got ability to connect into a larger monitor. And then I promised the good distance view. I'll get around here to adjust the camera. Now just close those legs. There you go. So it gives you a picture of a mountain. And we can look out at a distance and uh, zoom in on stuff. Yep. So again, you don't have to have these sounds. You can get rid of the sounds. I just leave all that stuff on for accessibility sake. So nice distance view on the, on the clover side. You can put it back down too, can't you? Yeah, and you can hold it up to the screen and show what you saw or show what's on there. You can pan around in that in the frozen view and the and the live view. So pretty cool. All right, we'll go back out to the presentation. All right. So again, this is the Clover 7. And I promised the price, $7.99. Yeah, and right on target with um, one of the with the more affordable ones in the market, quite a bit less than some of the less affordable ones in the market, but um, really exceptional on a full HD unit, um, great distance view, saves images. It's really, really a cool unit and, and you know, again, a, a reasonable price. So next is the Clover 10. Oh, you know what? I forgot to grab the... Um, the stands. I was going to show those, but there's a picture of that, both the 10 and the 7. If you can see the, the picture on the left bottom of my slide, uh, there's a stand that the 10 inch and the 7 inch, well, it's separate stands, but they each have a stand like that. So you can hold that up and gives you a great ability to do writing under it, um, gives you more magnification because you're further away, or sorry, it gives you the ability to do like one to one magnification because you're further away. Um, gives you a lot more space. And so I meant to show yeah, those. Go I didn't, um, I would have to dig them up and stuff. <laughs> it's, that's just one of the many oversights of mine today. Uh, but those stands are available, uh, which gives it kind of a, a whole nother, another use. So let's go out and take a look at the Clover 10. All right, again, it's in the handy dandy case. And um, right, a bigger. go ahead and start that one. Um, oh, you didn't want to go with the features? Yeah, yeah, actually, that's a good idea. Um, I, I apologize. This one I pulled out is the old design. It doesn't have the matte screen. The new ones do have a matte screen. So don't be, don't be put off by that. You're going to have a matte screen on the one that you, that you get. But see the same type of thing, turn it over. You know, you've got the same legs we can pop right out and really functions in a similar way to the uh, Clover 7. So go ahead and 
get that fired up. Thank you. So she's doing the same thing. You just hold that um, on the left side. There's, well, sorry, the, yeah, the left side on the top. You turn that around so people can see the power button since we did that off screen. There we go. And it brights up, illuminates in red. Also illuminates, or sorry, in green, illuminate in red when you plug it in so you know uh, that it's charging. Uh, it actually brings up another thing I didn't mention about these units. The, I believe, all of the little ones, most if not all, are USB-C. The think, three, the four, and the five. Okay, so literally every single one of these is made to not let you wreck the port. They're either USB-C, which can be bi-directional, doesn't matter, you know, not like a micro or a mini USB that you have to do a certain way, and we most of our repairs are because people push the port in. On these ones, it's USB-C, so it fits either direction, and it's great. Then you get up to the six, seven, eight, or sorry, six, seven, ten, and the Cloverbook Pro, and you've got all round plugs. So you really have an easy ability to plug things in and out. And so we just don't see people wrecking the ports on these guys. You have a just a round plug. Um, yeah. So I don't, of course, also didn't bring the chargers out with us. Um, we made sure they were charged at least, so they worked. So give us kudos for that. But um, Anyway, that's one of the things that you just kind of can overlook in this type of thing is, is you know, how are you going to know if you're going to wreck the PowerPoint port? Well, we know because we've seen it happen too many times. So we really we like try to seek out the ones that, that aren't going to offer that, uh, that pain in the booty for our, our customers. So we've got the 10 uh, in front of us again here, the Clover 10. Now, again, when we're zoomed in, we have that, um, that panning joystick we just can slide back and forth and pan around. I promised I set this one more or slower than the other. So this isn't going to just fly by, um, which you can adjust those on both the seven and the 10, however, however you like. Just roll it back over. This, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a, there's a cool feature on the 12 where you can jump back over and do some cool stuff. Um, but yeah, you do need to, to go back. That's I usually like to do it fast because yeah. <laughs> but because you can also you can kind of use your finger and, and go more slowly if you want or just go in chunks or something. Um, OK, well, anyway, it's pretty much like the seven. So I guess you can show the distance on that one as well. I'll come over and get the camera really get a good distance on these guys. We'll do it in color, though. <laughs> What a fantastic uh, distance view. That's a pretty catalog. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I love that catalog. All right. So, the other thing to note on that, guys, the, dis the biggest difference between that, between the Clover 10 and the Clover 7, with the exception of the screen size, is that the Clover 10 has a self viewing camera, and oh, the yeah. Clover 7 does not. Yeah, that's a good point. Can you hold that up so you can see the top of the screen? There's a little camera just right in the very top of the screen right there. Oh, sorry, I was trying so to... you have a self facing camera on this one, which very few have. So you can use it for grooming and all those things, just like Cody said. Um, that's yeah, probably the biggest difference between the seven and the 10 is the inclusion on the 10 of that self self viewing camera. Thank you, Mr. Cody. I'm glad I unmuted you. <laughs> All right. For once. <laughs> All right. So again, we've got a very competitive price. $12.99 gets you the Clover 10. All right. So now on to the grand finale. Um, this is a unit that really just got me excited from the beginning. And the more that I play with it, the more I, I find things that it can do that I didn't know it could do. Uh, you know, I learned the other day that you can connect a computer to the, the screen and use the, the extra screen as a, a computer screen. Um, all kinds of cool stuff you can do with this. You've got, first of all, 4K camera. So you've got really, really super, super clear reading. You've got a 12.5 inch full HD matte screen. So it's not going to be reflective with the matte screen. And um, you've got a nice 12 and a half inch full HD reading surface. It's got a fold out camera, really cool design on it. Um, we'll show you how that works. It's got comes with a cool case. It does full page OCR. 
You can connect it to a larger screen like many of these, but you can even get an additional 12 and a half inch screen. It does split screen. It does so you can split the distance and the and the close views. So you can be reading and seeing a presentation at the same time. It does live panning, has touch screen. It's just it's such a cool, cool unit. And then when I show you the price, I think you'll be very happy to see that as well. So let's go and take a look at the Cloverbook Pro. All right, here it is. Now it comes in this handy dandy little carry case. I'm going to have Kayleen unzip that. I forget what I weighed all these things. I think the case is like a pound or something. Um, the unit itself is only 5.3 pounds. Really light little guy. Um, open that up and you just grab that handle and it comes out of there and just pull it out of there. That's all you got to do to get it. Close that and toss that aside. Okay. Set that out on the desk. Now keep holding that handle. Okay. And now put your thumb under the tray. There we go. Yeah. And you just pull up. All the okay. way. Yeah. Oh, cool. And then um, here, slide it toward us a little bit. Yeah, we've, we're losing yeah. the image. And... Here, I'll I adjust can't zoom the... out anymore. Mm -hmm. Can't zoom out anymore. Okay. Yeah. Just adjust back a little bit. All right, so yeah, now pull it toward you, pull the screen toward you. Okay. And yeah, you got it actually in the yep. in the picture. Yeah, we're gonna have to tip it up more when we get the extra screen on there too, but we're uh, amateur videographers here. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, hopefully you saw it folded out real quick. Now turn it around for me and let's just kind of get a general perspective of this. Um, you know, it has a nice solid reading stand. Try sliding it. Like it stays oh, it on there, slide. doesn't it? Yeah. Um, you've got, uh, if you can out more, like fold that out more. Oh yeah, you can see it from here. So you can get to it more easily than this. I'm just having trouble describing how to do it, but there's a little white button. You press the button, the battery pops out, you put in an additional battery. So you always have a battery ready. If something goes wrong with your battery, you can change that. You're not gonna have to get a whole new device simply because the battery goes. Um, I think they even have a charging dock. Yeah, there's a new charging dock now. Um, bring that screen down. Yeah, we're getting a reflection. Okay. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Okay. And now those legs will, okay, let me come around here. These legs, you can move those forward. Like if you have big books, um, you can move them back. There's just any sort of angle that you want. You also have a distance camera. This will turn toward you for self view and turn away for distance and will automatically switch to a mirror view. When you're not using it, just put it right back there. You don't have to connect it separately. You don't have to charge it separately. Um, nothing to that. You have um, buttons all around the sides and on the front panel and all do various nice things that we'll show you in just a minute. Um, you also have a nice big power button and right under it, it's easy to find the power uh, where that is. And again, with a circular, a circular plug. So I'm gonna have, yeah, sorry, I got the, okay, there's just the glare. <laughs> yeah, we can't actually have it at the most ergonomic <laughs> angles because we're trying to show it on the camera too. So again, the top left side there, you just hold that down for a couple of seconds and then that will fire up. The green light turns on. Yeah, and the green light turns on, you'll see the site care splash screen. And then we have the Clover 12, sorry, the Cloverbook Pro. All right, and that looks like it's on color. So um, so you've got a whole bunch of different options on this guy. First of all, um, I'm gonna have you just tap the, the um, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm... Tap the contrast wheel. This guy? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, cool. so now we're in our high contrast. This thing has some cool features on it. Now pinch and zoom for me. First of all, you've got touch screen on it. No problem there. You've got your panning. You want to do the touch screen panning or you want to use the joystick for panning. 
you've got that ability to do live and frozen panning. This one even has some other cool features that like if you like tap twice and do things that'll shoot back to the other side. And you want me to do that? So like, yeah, tap tw no, I'm on, yeah. Oh. See how it jumps back to the left? So that way, if you're panning through and you want to get back to the left or you want to get back to the right, you can just do that or get all the way to the top. Um, you can also do that with a double tap on the joystick. Just hit it twice to one side or, well, that's just hitting the bottom. But if you like, you have to do it like left twice, like quickly, pat, pat. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, so different ways to, to move around. Um, and I like that there's so many options because you've got, um, you know, people want to use things differently. I'm not sure you can tell, but there's actually a wheel for contrast. So Kayleen can turn that to the right and go through them, or she can turn it to the left and go back through things. Um, you can long press it, don't do it. Okay. Um, and you'll get into uh, the, all the different contrasts. It's really easy to change through those and, and get rid of them. Um, but I like that you just tap it if you want to go to um, color, tap it if you want to go to your contrast. And you can easily switch between your color and your okay. and your reading. And you've got a wheel, you know, you're kind of old school. The same thing with the zoom. If you don't like the touch screen, that's a wheel, the zoom wheel, turn that. So we turn that and we zoom in and we zoom out just like we used to do. Um, so real intuitive device that also does a whole bunch of other stuff. Now there's a T screen on there or a T button on there. I can tap that and get OCR. Right, H um, to speech. Okay. How was I supposed to do well, that? Well, it's you've got random view, so we're gonna get an interesting reading, but let's see what it does. Okay. So press play. Afternoon. So it's sorry, it captured like parts of the screen. So it's got two modes that it's in. Right now it's in the one where it's gonna read one section at a time. That's why it just read that bit. So if you tap now on another section. Then now uh, press play or tap the home button and you get the play thing back. Okay. 15-230 p.m. Clear Lake and W Urban. Uh, tap the, the T blind. button Meet on Melbourne, the physical, physical T button. And Did you do it? I tapped it, yeah. It's fine. Okay, good. Yeah. So the, the other thing that's nice about this, you have talking menus on all of it. And uh, so often we're finding assessors are not cited and they need something they can actually assess with. So it's really convenient that it has talking menus. And um then in terms of the, the button that she just pressed, so there's on-screen controls and there's also hard button controls. So you can press the T button and it will play and pause. If you tap the, um, the camera switch button, the one on the left side there, yeah, tap that one. Text mode. Then that will change you, change the contrast for me, would you tap that and zoom in a bit. So you have a view uh, option between your original text or computer text. And it's, again, it's a hard button. So now hit that button again. This side one? Yep. Back to what the original, original image was. Um, okay, I don't wanna go through the entire unit. I have, I, I love this thing. So I'm gonna show you everything about it, but I don't have enough time. It comes so. with full instructions too, doesn't it? Yeah, and we have a full webinar. There's an hour long of going through just this unit. We have other videos. And of course you can always call us. And I notice we do have some of our, our uh, resellers on this and they're obviously happy to help you with the ones that they sell you as well. Um, so let's look at the distance view. I like this this little, you can't see it very well because we're, okay, yeah, yeah, tip. There we go. Yeah, now you can actually, yeah, the distance view that moves all around. It'll, um, um, you can, can you turn it this yeah, way. You can you? turn it to do different things, and it also, like, it will bend and do. You know, you oh, really wow. can get whatever angle you want. You want to look at the ceiling. You can, you know, it really gives you a lot of options. So. Go ahead and tap that camera change button that you were doing. Actually, we need to get out of OCR. So long press the, the home button. Thank you. And there's a full page OCR button. I, I mean, mode I should mention as well. Just quickly hold, long press that home button again. Okay, so your main menu, if you long press the home button, you have a live mag, you have a text to speech that then gives you the full page um, text to speech window. You can open documents and you can change other settings like turn the sound off and, and that sort of thing. So go ahead and just hit magnifier. Magnifier. 
near view. Okay. So now we're just in live view. She's going to tap the button distance and get view. to distance view. Okay. And zoom in on the IRE AT. Actually, it's right in the center. It should be about there. You notice you can zoom in the touch screen and do panning and all that stuff. Get a nice clear distance view. So now tap it again. No, sorry, tap oh. the, the camera oh, change button. Split screen. So now we've got a split screen. So we're looking at the image on the um, the distance camera up above and then down below it, we're able to do a reading. So we can see a presentation and we can take notes or look at our notes or whatever else in the meantime. And now you may notice there is a red rectangle around the top. So go ahead and tap the lower part of the screen and that rectangle changes down there. Now, if I change the contrast or yeah, whatever I do to um, change the magnification of the contrast will just impact one of the screen separately. So you can have whatever, whatever uh, you know, probably want color in most cases for a good focal distance and things for distance. And then um, you want your favorite reading uh, contrast for your, for your other. So now tap the camera button for me again. <laughs> so now I've got the same thing, only now it's split vertically. So, and how did the cat get in here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Um, so we got to uh, tap it one more time. Near view. Okay, and now we're back to, to near view. Okay, so we're grinding short on time already. So I want to, I, I apologize again, if we're skipping through this stuff, we have multiple videos, we have all kinds of stuff. You can see every feature of this broken down, me holding it sideways, practically taking it apart. Um, but I want to kind of at least give you the overview on everything. And a big part of that is this external screen. Again, you get a, a nice case, you get an additional screen. This one, I this is not matte, the one I have. Yeah, this one's not yeah. I, again, they changed that. So we do have matte screens on these now. And it's another full HD matte screen. It comes with the case, the screen, and a little HDMI cable. You don't even have to turn it off. Just put it, um, here, I'll hold this up. You just fit it right in the slot in the back here. Just fits right in there. Okay. And then turn it around. Yeah, and then you see you can plug into the HDMI on the unit and then the HDMI on the uh, global view screen. I should get a little green light. External that comes screen on. connected. Okay, now we're going to have some fun. Okay, so first off, we're going. We're good. Okay. First off, we're going to do the camera button again, and we're going to see what else happens Distance now. View. So, got a little bit of a reflection. Oh, okay, trying sorry. to figure out how to get rid of it. Okay. Um, sorry, it's at a wonky angle now. Um, I have too many lights here. Anyway, so now we've got both things on distance. So now tap it again. This is the camera button on the left side of the unit that we're tapping here. So now I have my split screen where I have my distance view and I've got my, my near view, my desk view, and they're both at the same time on separate screens. So you really can see the presentation. Um, now that's not a touch screen that we've got there. Okay. You can do control the controls though. So now we have the red circle or the red rectangle around our lower screen. So zoom with the to do the zoom wheel or yeah or that. Um, so pinch and zoom down. and it will change the magnification. Tap the contrast or turn the wheel or whatever, and that will um, change the contrast just on that screen. Okay. So. Now, if you want to do the other screen, you can tap the button again, don't do it. Okay. Um, and that will switch the position of the screen. So your default will be to change the other one. But you can still change the upper screen. Um, just hold down that camera switch button and tap up on the joystick. Boom, and now our rectangle's up above. Now use the touch screen and it will change the one above. I can use this. And thing. you can use that touch screen and it'll change the one above, or you can oh, use the zoom cool. wheel, you can pan, um, but it allows you to control both of those screens separately. So you get a true, what are you trying to do? I don't know. 
you're trying to pan around in it. Yeah. yeah. She's having fun, kids. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so the um, now the thing I think is the absolute coolest about this this particular device. You have, I mean, it, it's cool to have split screen. It's cool to be have real split screen. But check out what we're going to do now. I'm going to have you tap that camera change button again. Okay, now do it again. See that? Ooh. That's where it switches screens and gives that thing. Um, so now we have a double near view. And I apologize, I have to have that top one at kind of a wonky angle. Um, yeah, I wonder if we can get a little bit better, or maybe it go go further, further. Okay. I think it's this light over here that, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, cool. Okay. So it's a little weird and blurry in the camera view, but it looks yeah, great on the screen. Yeah, perfect right here. <laughs> Um, anyway, we'll get the, the point across. So the biggest thing that I have a problem with when I use low vision equipment, and, and honestly, I no longer just use it because I sell it. I use it because I need it sometimes. Um, I get lost. If I'm actually zoomed in on something, I get lost. And I don't know how to find my way again. I like the ones where you have the kind of the button you press and you go back and you can put like a target on where you want to go. And there's some things that people have done to make this better. Never seen anything like this. This is awesome. I'm going to have Kayleen hold down. You can press the zoom button and hold it down. No, sorry, the zoom wheel. Press that down for about three or four seconds, I think. There we go. And so what happens when I have both screens hooked up is now my native Cloverbook Pro screen has an orange rectangle on the screen. And that size of that, that rectangle depends on how much I'm zooming. And whatever I'm zooming on is shown up above. So my lower screen becomes a one-to-one -one orientation screen and my upper screen becomes where I'm actually reading. So now let's zoom in a little bit, turn that wheel or Let's get and so if she does that, she's zooming in, the rectangle is getting smaller. But now using the joystick or using, you can make it smaller for me. Yeah. Okay. Now using the joystick or using even better your finger inside that rectangle, then you oh, just cool. travel along the screen. You always know where you are because you've got that lower screen that, well, you can't necessarily read it, but you know where you are in relation to the column. If you're trying to read a, read a spreadsheet, you can zip around and find different parts of it. I've used it to read maps, diagrams, all kinds of things. I mean, I, honestly, I got with a, a battery thing, a battery pack I bought, the, the manual was two inches and had 500 words per page and diagrams and crazy stuff. And I could put it under there and I could zip around and just see everything that I wanted and super, super cool. Um, so get over to where you can actually see the column. Um, the end, move the paper. Yeah, move the paper. That was back the other way, the other one. There we go. Yeah. So now you want to find the beginning of that line. You can tell where it is. You just move there and then you can read along in the line. You get to the end, you zip back and um, just makes it super easy to find your place and always have an orientation screen while you're actually able to, to magnify. And we can change the contrast. We can do any number of other things within this, this screen as well. But for me, this is just, wow, super, super easy to, to read things and keep your place when you have that one-to-one -one orientation screen and the ability to then zoom in and, and really see what you're, what you're looking at on the other screen. So I'm gonna get back out to the presentation here. Okay, so we're back to the presentation and looking at the Cloverbook Pro and I will do the magic price thing. It is $25.95 for something competing against things that do similar function for $3,100. Uh, it'll do it for $2,600. If you want to have the additional screen and get that orientation screen and the true split screen and all that stuff, it is, don't take it apart yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to that. Um, the, uh, the extra screen, that one adds an additional $349. So you're still under three grand for this entire system. So I'm gonna go back out to the live camera and I'm gonna have Kayleen put it away. I want you to see how easy it is to, to deal with this guy. I include this in most of my videos, but she's just gonna disconnect the HDMI cable. 
pull that uh, little screen off of there. And it's got a little piece that folds in, hinges in. Uh, there's a case somewhere for it, hypothetically. There it is, I just put it on the floor. You can put that, put that in the case. And the HDMI cord fits right in there. I'll leave that case handy. Mm -hmm. And I'll flip down the distance camera. Go. I don't know where the case went. It's right here. All right. Put that in there. And that will fold or will zip right up. And then she can just slip that case, the extra screen, right in the in the sleeve. And there you go. You got like eight, nine pounds or something carried around everywhere you got. Got a little strap on it. Has a little little carry strap. Real handy, easy to pack away. And as I mentioned earlier, you can also connect many computers into that screen and have a really compact little computer desk magnifying station all in one. So I have some presentation resources here for you. Um, we have the different uh, web pages, and we can send you this this um, presentation if you'd like to have it. Um, but they're all on our website. You can find the Clover 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and the Clover Book Pro that I just showed you. We have our webinar schedule is up there. You can look at webinars that are upcoming. We also have past webinar videos all uh, listed. And we all have them also on our YouTube channel. If you are watching this live, we know that Zoom has a, an attendance list for us. You don't need to give us the certificate code. You just ask for one and we'll get it to you. We, we know you attended. We have, have that record. Um, if you're watching this recorded, then please do email us with the Lucky Clover code, uh, the com certificate of completion code, and we'll get you a certificate of completion so you can use that for your different, different uh, accreditations. So I wanna thank everybody for joining us today. Um, we are gonna continue doing these webinars. We've got a couple scheduled before the end of the year. We've got one coming up in a couple of weeks. This is gonna be the first appearance of the Braille Brothers. So me and my brother are going to um, do one looking at the View Plus Ink and Braille solutions and how those are useful for sharing documents with sighted peers and colleagues. And then we're gonna be looking at some of the European desktop magnifiers that we have that are actually affordable, but made in Europe, looking at uh, desktop magnifiers. And we'll get started again at the beginning of the year, um, probably with another round with VisionAid International. They have some new software and some new devices and things coming out we wanna let you know about. So I'm gonna check up here and see, it doesn't look like we have anything in the Q&A and I believe that Cody has been handling all the things from the, uh, the chat. So yeah, with that, I don't see anything, any other questions. We do have our contact information on there. If you do have questions or you'd like to reach out to us, our webpage is um, irieat.com. That's I-R-I-E-A-T.com. Our uh, main email, you can reach us at sales at irieat.com. That's S-A-L-E-S -E at I-R-I-E dash A-T dot com. Or you can call us at 888-308-0059. Uh, again, my name is Jeff Gardner. I thank you for joining me today. And I don't think I actually let Kayleen speak. Um, next time, I promise I will, I will have her lovely voice and her lovely face uh, will be much more appreciated than my not so lovely voice and not so lovely face. Um, um, had fun working with her today and wanna thank everybody for, for joining us. So oh, wait, I see one new message. Okay, yes, thank you. All right, so we're good. Okay. Well, thanks again for joining us. We hope we see you on uh, these in the future. And do reach out to us if you'd like a certificate of completion. If you're watching this recorded, give us that uh, Lucky Clover um, code. Thanks, everybody.